everybody welcome back to the channel i hope everyone's had a really really nice week i'm so glad it's friday i'm just super happy i mean i've had a really nice week at work um, i think i've made my eyebrows a bit dark but we're just gonna roll with the dark eyebrows um yeah i hope you've all had a really nice week i don't really know what i'm about to film Sorry about that, my battery just died and I think this battery's gonna die as well. But I was saying, I don't really know what I'm gonna film, but to be honest, my favorite sort of vlogs are ones where I literally just feel like I'm hanging out with someone, but they're just taking me to Aldi to do their food shop. That's like my favorite thing. Um, so it's Friday night, we've got a really busy weekend because it's my brother's birthday and it's also Sam's brother's birthday and it's Mother's Day. So there's just a lot going on, a lot of celebrating. Tip out because it's Friday, and that's when we do like a little four day food shop. So I'm gonna zip to the shop. I've waited till it's kind of late because honestly, if you go to the shops at like five o'clock, it is just carnage. And also like when you're a dog groomer, going anywhere after work, apart from straight to the shower, it's just, it, you just feel disgusting. So I've come home, I've done my hair, I've popped some makeup on. I just wanna feel really nice tonight. And I also just wanna look nice for Sammy. And I know, like I feel like there's so much stigma about looking nice for your partner which to me just feels really silly like I want him to think I look nice and yes he sees me every day with no makeup on and my hair slapped back looking like a little mole rat but I just I just want to feel nice for me and if I feel nice for me I think he'll think I look nice I don't know I just want to look nice you know so I've done my hair and makeup um I'm gonna go to the shops get some food shopping I'm also gonna pick up a few bouquets of flowers because I actually want to construct my own bouquets for our mums so I'm going to go to the shop and pick up a few bits if I can so I can try and make my own never done that before but looks really fun to me so I'm going to try that out um I don't know what else I was saying oh I was saying about how like being a dog groomer is so unglam I do really miss sometimes having a job where you can actually look nice. I really miss feeling like really feminine and like in my like feminine power. I don't really know how to describe it. Like that is something that I really miss. I feel in the future, I've said this before, I'd love to groom and do something else like half and half because I love grooming and it's challenging and it's fun and it's creative, but there's obviously cons to it like there is any other job. So it would just be nice to have half and half. I used to, when I was younger, I always used to work two jobs and I promise you it is the way forward. You don't get bored then and you meet so many new people and it's just such a nice mix, especially if you like the job you're doing. Anyway, I am yakking. I feel like this whole video is probably just going to be me yakking away anyway, but I'm going to zip to Tesco, get some bits in for the weekend and get some flowers. I'm back. I was gone for about an hour, that's actually not too bad, considering I've driven there, got back, unloaded everything. I'm gonna show you what I bought, but then I was like, I literally do this in every video, but honestly, when I watch vlogs, one of my favorite things to do is see what people bought at the shop. Maybe that's just me becoming my inner mum, but I literally live for this. So I'm gonna show you what I bought, because I got some exciting things today. Um, like some of it's obviously just like general boring stuff, but some of it's fun and I'll show you. So this is some of our bits. I picked up some of these Warburton protein thin bagels because I wanted to prep some breakfasts again. Um, because it's the weekend, I just like, I like something savory if I've got time. So I'm gonna prep some bagels with some eggs. I'd probably make like a little frittata and stick that in the oven I'll probably put some ham in Sam's and mine will probably just be like onion and egg and cheese then what else have we picked up Sam loves these apple wood slices so I picked up some of them they're really good for lunches I was gonna make a sausage casserole not sausage casserole what am I on about a sausage pasta bake on Sunday just because that's really easy um and it'll probably make quite a lot and I also picked up this harissa paste it does say it has rose petals in it. Um, now, I'm a big fan. I love um, a floral taste, but I'm not sure how Sam's going to feel about that. Um, I may actually just open this and smell. Oh, 
It's like not even floral. Okay, that's fine. I was just concerned, you know, like when you don't like certain tastes and then you put it in a meal and then that's like all you can taste. Like I'm like that with lemongrass. He's a bit like that with just normal lemon. Um, but that should be fine. So I picked up that harissa paste, um, which I'm going to pop in a pasta bake. I'm just checking if I put the lid on. Um, what else did I get? I got some chocolate, some mint aero. Love a mint aero. Do you know when I was younger? I don't know if anyone remembers this, but they used to do this mint aero, mint aero bubble hot chocolate. And I, it doesn't exist anywhere, I swear. I used to have that. I used to come home from college, have a mint aero hot chocolate, and I dunk a mint aero in it. It was so good. Um, I picked up these little sweet and smoky beetroot to go on a sal salad. I love beetroot, but I just feel like if I buy a pack with like all the like individual pieces of it, I never eat it all. So I was feeling, hopefully I will use that up. Oh my gosh, no, it goes out of date in two days. Maybe that wasn't the best idea. Can you, I don't know if you can freeze that. Um, picked up general carrots, chilies, grapes some bread, some rocket, just huge. Um, I picked up some lightly dusted fish, which we'll probably have on Monday just because that's a really easy meal. We'll probably have that with sweet potato and broccoli. Um, exciting things, let's move on to exciting things. So shelled hemp seeds, I didn't know they actually did these in Tesco. I normally get mine from Holland and Barrett, but these are absolutely incredible if you want to add some protein to a meal, but maybe like you're vegan or you're vegetarian or you're having you're trying to reduce your meat intake. These are really, really high protein. Um, so per 20 grams, there's seven grams of protein, per 100 grams, there's 35 grams of protein. They don't really have a taste and they're really fine. And they're, I use these all of the time. This whole pack lasted me nearly three months. So I picked them up today because I've just run out. When we went to Centre Parks, we were obsessed with these oh my gosh wow I would highly recommend there's not that many in there I think there's like eight we honestly destroyed them like they we opened the pack and we just inhaled these twists because they're absolutely incredible they're like really buttery and flaky and garlicky just if you have a Tesco's near you pick these up because honestly mind-blowing they're amazing then Friday, it's Friday tonight, and me and Sam kind of, sometimes we'll go on like a little date somewhere, but he's working really late. So we're just gonna have pizzas, and we've got really busy weekends. We're having dinner with his family tomorrow, and then we're out, for, we're like, we're out in the morning with my family, and then, yeah, there's just a lot going on. So we're not gonna go on a date tonight, but we are having pizza at home. Sam's favorite pizza is an Asda pizza. Now that is just, that is not my fave pizza. I feel like they put cheddar on the pizza and I don't know, that's just not for me. So I've picked up a frozen pizza. Um, I picked up the Zizi's one, just um, the mozzarella and tomato. I thought that looked really nice. So I'm, I'm gonna have that and he'll probably order a Domino's now because the Asda ones were closed. I also collected some of these. We are completely obsessed with these, the sweet and salty little popcorn things. They are absolutely incredible. But similar to these, you will probably eat these like in one sitting because they're amazing. And then one of the other things I picked up that I want to show you guys, I haven't had these before, but I keep eyeing them up and they're really expensive and I'm like, do I buy them? But they were on offer and I've picked them up and I'm excited because they're vegan and they're rolled in cookie dough. I don't actually realise they were vegan. Vegan chocolate chip, vegan vanilla ice cream. Don't these just look incredible? Oh, I'm so excited. And I'm just really glad that they are vegan because I am not supposed to have dairy. So I, I do eat dairy, but I'm not supposed to. So that's fabulous because ice cream is one of the things that actually ruins my stomach. But how exciting. And the last thing that I was gonna show you guys was I obviously wanted to make my own bouquet of flowers, which I'm still gonna do. I might need to get some other bits, like some greenery tomorrow, but I will see. I also don't know where I'm gonna put them because I need like two vases. But I'll show you what I went for and I'll show you my thought process for all of this. So, so I picked up some coronations. I actually really like these. Obviously they're not sprouted yet because I thought 
I'd rather buy them closed cups so that they last a bit longer. They're just like mini roses, aren't they? I think they're so pretty. My gran always had these in her lounge. So I picked up some of those and they're the ones that are like dip dye. They're like a really pastely orange and then the tips are a dark orange. So I thought they were lovely. So I picked up some of those and there's quite a lot in that bunch as well. And then I picked up some of these as well. Some freesia, is that how you say it? Um, obviously these are closed as well, but I think they will look really pretty when they open up. I wanted to go for a, like a, a good variety. I also picked up some lilies. Now the ones that I've opened don't look that great, but I think it's because like the orange from the lily has like spread around. But there's some that are closed, which is fab. So I'm hoping they'll last till Sunday. And then I also picked up some gyps Gypsophilia, which my mum absolutely loves. I love, I think they're so pretty in a bunch of flowers. So I'm gonna try and construct something with these this evening. And I'm really, really, really excited. <laughs> so good I feel so good I've been up since like mm, about eight we went and met my mum and brother because it's my brother's birthday today so we went and grabbed a little coffee and a pastry oh my god I've got some of the pastry left because it was massive but it was unreal I had this like hazelnut chocolate croissant from Makoko which is like a really cute little bakery around where my mum lives let me show you what this croissant looks like one second let me flip the camera around so they've got this cute little like gingham paper, which is so like such spring vibes, which I thought was cute. I said that to the girl in the shop, she's laughing at me, but look at this pastry. Oh my God. Sorry, I am shaking because I've just done a crazy workout. Um, doesn't this pastry just look incredible? Oh my God, it's amazing. Um, but yeah, couldn't finish it because it was humongous. Come home, it's so nice outside, like, Feels like summer is around the corner, like, I love it so much, literally so happy. And did you see that cute squirrel that I put in? Oh my God, I've seen the cutest squirrel on the way back. He was just there with this big pine cone in his mouth. Um, anyway, we've just done a huge workout in the lounge, like true 90s style. I listened to an Ibiza playlist. If you are feeling sad, whack on a 90s Ibiza playlist and pump it up to the biggest, like the loudest volume. Oh my God, I feel so good. I'm on like such a high right now. I was literally in the lounge. The best thing about working out at home is you can literally just like work out with barely any clothes on because you're at home. I literally worked out with in 90s style. Like I have leg warmers on and ankle weights. Let me show you. Excuse my toenails. I cut them a bit too short. They're a bit funny. True 90s style. Ankle weights and socks. Um, but it's about one o'clock here. I'm going to make me and Sam some lunch. Mm. That is really strong. My sweet tooth is so not non-existent anymore. I used to be like such a sweet tooth gal, but now even juice is like too much. I have to like water it down. It's still quite strong. Um, I'm gonna make me and Sam, this is actually aching my arms because I've just done a workout, some lunch. I'm gonna do like a little snacky board sort of thing. Um, because we're going to go for a Chinese with his family later. So I want to make this like quite a good variety of food. So we've got some fats some protein, some veggies and some fruits going on in there before we have a Chinese. And then I still need to make, um, a little bunch of flowers up, which I'm really, really excited about. So I'm going to make lunch first, have lunch and then make some flowers. Guys, bit of a confession. I've never boiled an egg before, but I feel like this looks really good. So I'm hoping this is a good one. This is the little snack plate that I've made Sam. I always make him these. He's like, they're just super easy. Um, and while I was making that, I also prepped his lunch for tomorrow. So that's in there. And I'm also in the process of making myself a salad, but I'll show you that in a minute, but yeah. I'm really proud of these hard boiled eggs. Why does this egg look like this? What does that mean? <laughs> Why does that look so funny? <laughs> well, he's having this one as well, so. Oh, this one's a bit runny. 
Is that good? I don't know. They were in for six minutes. Is that a good egg? So I've made myself a Caesar salad and a homemade Caesar dressing because I just think salad dressings homemade are so much nicer. Um, I never make myself one of those like snack plates because I don't like cold meats and I don't like cheese. So this is my little Caesar salad. I say I don't like cheese. This has pecorino in. So I'm going to mix it all together and eat that in a moment. Probably sat on the floor in Sam's room while he plays games because when you have a boyfriend that's a gamer, that becomes your life. <laughs> I don't mind at all. Um, it's kind of cute. So I'm going to go enjoy this. If I wrote you a song, if I got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper, would it make any difference? Would it change for the better if I wrote you a poem? If I posted a letter? Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Happy Mother's Day to all the mamas out there. It is the most stunning day. It's bright blue skies. The trees are blowing in the wind. I feel like everyone's so much happier when it's like this. I am such a spring summer girl. Like this is my favorite time of year ever. So I'm absolutely buzzing, as if you can't see. Um, if you can't gather that from <laughs> how, how I'm opening this video. I hope you're all feeling really good. I feel like everyone needs to start the morning with a little affirmation because that is what I do. I seen this thing on Instagram and it was like a scientist chatting about how the very first thing that comes to your mind in the morning can have a massive impact on your day. And I was like, you know what? That actually was a massive thing for me when I was struggling. I was really struggling with anxiety and panic attacks. When I, when I started like seeing Sammy, things really started to change. Um, my environment was very different and it's not just like one little affirmation is gonna change anything because it didn't, I had like 16 months of therapy, but that's another story for a different day. But this guy was saying how important it is just to wake up, even if you literally just say today's gonna be a good day. And that is what I used to, well, I still say it. Every single morning when I wake up in my head, I'm like, today's gonna be a good day. Or like, if I want, something to like manifest. This white eyeliner looks a bit funny. I'm not sure if I can pull it off or not. Um, that is the first thing that's coming into my head. Like, I'm gonna be calm today. I'm gonna have a good day today. Just like something really simple, like not all these mystical things, just something that is like simple and straight to the point. And this morning, my affirmation was, I'm gonna look really good today. And I know that sounds really vain, but you know, like I've just finished my period and you know when you just feel a bit like, you just feel a bit frumpy and you know what I mean? So that's what my affirmation is. That's, that's the affirmation of the day. Um, what am I saying? So it's lovely, it's beautiful, it's sunny. I'm about to go meet my mum and my brother and we're gonna go into Clifton Village and grab a little coffee and things, go for a big walk, which I cannot wait for because it's just so beautiful outside. So, so, so beautiful. Um, and then I feel like Sundays are like uh, getting ready for the weekday. So then I just need to sort some stuff for the week, but that's, that's all good. I hope that you guys have a really lovely day planned. And if not, you can come along with my day and we can spend the day together. I was gonna say to you guys actually, um, you know, I think I said on Friday that I was listening to an audiobook called Hunt, Gather, Parent. Sorry, my fridge is so noisy. I don't know if you could hear that. And the kitchen is a mess, so just excuse the chaos in here. Um, I'm not a parent, I'm not pregnant, I don't have any children, but I'm, I'm just really interested in studies. Like that's one of my favorite things to listen to if I'm gonna listen to something. I'm either reading like a gushy romance fiction book or I'm reading studies. Like <laughs> there's no in between, it's either that or that. So I'm listening to the audiobook Hunt Gather Parent and it's absolutely incredible. Honestly, even if you're not planning on being a parent, it's really interesting to kind of um, look back at how you were brought up and like why things may have not gone so well for you in your life. Like they talk a lot about how Western society is like really anxious and depressed and 
like children are really struggling compared to other societies in the world and it's just really interesting i haven't got like to the juicy bits yet but they i'm pretty sure there's so many studies about how families bring up different children at the start she's talking about how oh, i can't remember the place she says but she she physically went places with her daughter and she was saying i was viewing stuff like the children that were about eight were coming down in the morning and just voluntarily cleaning the kitchen didn't have to be asked and didn't moan and like they were just genuinely helpful and wanted to help the family and it's just really interesting the first bit is about how western society kind of promotes this i i guess it is kind of changing right now but this family where it's like a mum a dad and two kids or like a mum and a mum and two kids and dad and dad and two kids like that's like the perfect family but um in reality like years ago when people were brought up it was everyone like everyone lived in the house so it was a lot less stress for parents bringing up children because your grandma was there and your granddad was there and your auntie was there and they learned so many life skills from all of those other people it made them like a stronger person essentially um just really interesting if you're interested in like figuring out things from your background and how you've got brought up or maybe you have children and you want to bring them up in a different way it's really interesting i would highly recommend i'm really really liking it Hello. it's a little bit later now um i got back from a really nice morning with my mum and brother. My brother was like severely hungover, so <laughs> he was like struggling. Um, but we had a really nice coffee in Spice Run Cold. Well, I actually had a white apricot tea, which was lovely. And I think my brother had a green tea and my mum had a vanilla latte, but she said it was really good from there. And then we just had a little walk around Clifton, which was gorgeous. Clifton's just beautiful it's like all old victorian houses and there's loads of greenery everywhere everyone dresses really cool like the fashion's amazing up there just you could just people watch all day um there's like blossom falling from the trees and it was sunny um my heart just had a bit of a moment because i thought i seen someone walk past but it's actually some like a measurement thing on my camera um <laughs> but as we were walking around there's this really cute me and Sam haven't been there for ages. We always used to go there. There's this really cute cake shop called Anna. And they do like, it's like really posh luxury cakes. And they do like mini little ones and they do cookies. And I never know if it's a macaroon or a macaron. I think a macaroon is the coconut thing and a macaron are like the little colorful ones. I always call them macaroons anyway. But there's a little cafe that does them and they are my absolute favorite sweet treat i'm not really a dessert person but a macaron i am there so i stopped off there and they had all of these amazing flavors in the window i should have taken a video but i didn't and they had things like birthday cake flavor my mum got a mini egg flavored one which i kind of regret regret not getting um i'll show you them actually <laughs> I picked up some macarons. I got my mum the mini egg one, which she's already taken. And then I picked up a pistachio one, which I think is this one. I love anything pistachio flavored. I also picked up a birthday cake one. I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about that. I don't know if it's gonna be too sweet, but I just thought it was really cute. Like that's so cute looking. And then I picked up a passion fruit one. This one's got a little bit crushed in my bag. But I'm going to save that for after dinner because I'm going to make a roast. And I also picked up Sam this absolutely humongous white chocolate cookie. Look how amazing that looks. They had massive cookies in there. They had like red velvet cake ones, double chocolate, biscoff. So I picked him up one of them for after dinner as well. just doing the routine nighttime hoover that's like his favorite job um but we've just enjoyed our roast dinner tidied the kitchen together i love it when we do like 
we always split stuff and everything gets done so much quicker and it's so nice so satisfying but i hope that you guys have enjoyed this weekend vlog with me if you have leave a comment below um and we will catch up very very soon um i love chatting with everyone if you leave comments it's so nice it's so refreshing and I feel like the YouTube community is just really nice. Like it's different to any other platform. But I hope that you've enjoyed this weekend vlog and I will see you very, very soon. Thanks, bye.